If you're fans of such animes as South of War Cold Black, Built Divide Cold Black, or even, well, the work that made them a household name, Tokyo Revengers, you're probably familiar by now the animation studio behind those three that I've mentioned. Lion Films started only in 2011. They're only 10 years in the business. But they've racked up a really impressive track record as of this year, 2021. But you know, there are three enemies of theirs that I can really cite that would, well, that would really totally familiarize you with this animation studio. So, tanong niyo sa akin ngayon, JJ! Okay, Tokyo Revengers uh, was made by Lion Films. Pero, meron pa sila mga anime na 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 pwede mong inote ngayon sa show mong to? Ito na naman tayo, TikTok. It's time again for the Anime Minute. First up, the absolute majesty and uh, sometimes mysticism of this anime never ceases to amaze me every time that I come across any one of its episodes. I'm talking about none other than the heroic legend of Arslan. <laughs> Next, isa mga anime ito actually na napanood ko sa Hero TV. Probably one of the funniest harem animes of its time. It involves a guy who needs to find these seven witches who are, well, practically schoolmates of it. Eventually, uh, the male lead protag sought them all out. And, well, isinyota pa niya ang isa. Yamada-kun and the seven witches. Last but not least, Will. A personal favorite of mine from this studio. Yep, folks, it is in Tokyo Revengers. It involves uh, a group of man beasts called Pyranthropes. The main female protag is so different from them. But, even before Pyranthrope became a household name in this anime, she was already one. It also has one of the saddest endings in uh, in recent memory. It's not other than killing by. <laughs> so there you have it, TikTok. These are three of Lion Film's most notable enemies to me. What are yours?